after that the most important instrument is a compass this is a geological compass this is called a clinometer compass and we have already shown the picture of branton compass also now here my question is can we see the branton compass also a clinometer compass yes because by using both these types of compasses we can measure the inclination of a rock body now can anyone from you say what is the clinometer in this compass we commonly say this is a clinometer compass but which one is the clinometer in this compass some of the students will answer this one is the clinometer or this one is the clinometer no these are not clinometer actually the clinometer is this pendulum and the graduated ring this one why because clinometer means an instrument by which we can measure the inclination the clino is coming from the inclination word now think which instrument you are using to measure the inclination not the magnetic needle why because if i am making the clinometer compass inclined the magnetic needle does not move freely it will be arrested it will be locked so this pendulum is actually the clinometer in this compass if you don't have the pendulum or if you if you if your pendulum is not working this is a normal compass you don't call it a clinometer compass okay the work of a compass is to get the direction which instrument is giving the direction actually the magnetic needle is giving the direction okay so for direction purpose we are using the magnetic needle and for inclination purpose we are using the clinometer that means the pendulum when we are combining these two instruments together this is becoming a clinometer compass the compass is giving the direction and the clinometer is giving the inclination now look on the magnetic needle in the magnetic needle in this end a marking is there this marking is actually depicting the north pole of this magnetic needle this north pole will be attracted towards the north pole of the earth magnetic north pole of the earth now my question is from the basic rule of magnets we know that similar pole will repel and opposite pole attracts then if it is the north pole of this bar magnet how can it be attracted towards the magnetic north pole of the earth it should repel but it is attracting how next observation in the clinometer compass is the north and south is mentioned on the magnetic dial clearly this crown is actually indicating the north and if this crown is the north then on this direction i should found the east here and on this direction i should found the west here but it is written reversed in the dial why the east and west on the magnetic compass dial marked reversed first i will try to answer this question how the north pole of a compass needle attracts the magnetic north pole it is very well known from the concept of geomagnetism that we are having an imaginary bar magnet inside the earth any kind of magnets are having the magnetic field lines and if you see the pattern of the magnetic field lines in a bar magnet you will find that the magnetic field lines will emerge from the north end and it will enter into the south end this is the convention to draw the magnetic field lines in case of a bar magnet now see in case of the earth magnetism actually this is the north pole of the bar magnet which is emerging to present in the inside the earth and it is actually the south pole and accordingly the field lines are drawn but as the south pole is nearer to the north geographic pole we are loosely telling it as the magnetic north pole actually in the theory of magnet this should be the south pole but as it is nearer to the geographic north pole 
we are saying it the magnetic north pole but actually it is the south pole and as actually it is the south pole the north end of the magnetic needle is attracted in the south pole okay but conventionally we are saying it this is the north pole why because this is nearer to the north geographic pole so what is actually happening my magnetic needle is not wrong the north end of the magnetic needle is actually attracted towards the south pole of the bar magnet which is imagined in the center of the earth but conventionally the south pole is called north magnetic pole then the north end of the magnetic needle is attracted towards the north magnetic pole okay are you getting the problem is in the earth not in my compass my compass is right the north pole south pole is uh, rightly written on the magnetic needle but conventionally the north pole and south pole of the bar magnet which is imagined to present in the earth that is reversed the north pole is marked as the south magnetic pole and the south pole of the actual bar magnet i mean the imaginary bar magnet is conventionally called as the magnetic north pole as it is nearer to the north geographic pole clear so if i draw the magnetic field line in this bar magnet field line will go like this one they will emerge from this north end and they will enter into the south end okay next why east and west are written reversely in the magnetic dial suppose this is the magnetic field of the earth north south east west this is the original field of the earth okay i am placing a compass in this earth and on the compass dial the north south east west direction is written rightly i means the north is here and the east is written on the right hand direction now i am keeping this compass in my hand and i am rotating 45 degree towards my right hand okay so when i am rotating this needle will be fixed the needle will never rotate because the north pole of this magnetic needle will be attracted towards the north magnetic pole of the earth it will never going to be rotated then when i am rotating actually the compass dial is rotating with me not the magnetic needle the needle is fixed the dial is rotating so when i am rotated 45 degree towards my right hand the north marking on the compass dial will move here okay so what is actually moving the dial is actually moving but the needle is fixed so when i have rotated 45 degree towards my right hand that means i am looking on this direction and this direction is actually what northeast so that means i am on the first quadrant and my value is 45 degree because i have rotated 45 degree so my compass needle should pointed towards 45 degree but unfortunately this is directed towards 315 degree this is the problem if i write the east and west in a proper manner now suppose i am standing on the same magnetic field of the earth and in my compass dial i have uh, written the east west reversely i have rotated 45 degree in my right hand direction so i am looking towards 45 degree now and look here this point will come on here okay and this north marking will go there so on the resultant image i am getting 45 degree value which is directed by this magnetic needle so this is the correct value i am looking towards northeast so for this convenience we are reversing the direction of east west in the magnetic dial okay